I am recording drums with Patty for a song called Poison Joy tonight and tomorrow. We're really setting up tonight and then tomorrow we will be actually recording. I have a bunch of like sessions set up to do and I have to go get all my crap together and break down my desk because my desk looks like this. That whole thing comes out. Anyway, that road case comes out and then I have to go out to the storage unit and I'm not in the storage unit I used to be in. I'm in a storage unit where Patrick practices. We're gonna get this song done and it's gonna sound great. I'm really excited about this track. Oh, and I'm on my phone. There's a perfectly good camera right there, right next to that incredibly bright light, but I'm too lazy to use it. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna do this whole video on my phone. I'm not sorry. We're here. So after various technical difficulties, my computer now works. It feels like it's about 90 degrees in the storage unit and I'm sweating profusely already. That's accurate. It's gonna be a great time. We're done with setup. Wow, this is not working. There it is. And the best part is there's a cover band, and then right next door to that, there's this hardcore band. So every time the cover band stops, you just hear dum, dum, dum. breakdowns getting slower and slower. And they're just jamming out right next door to one another. So anyway, we're doing this tomorrow. We're gonna finish this up, and I'm excited about putting out Poison Joy. It'll be great. Day two, about to go record Patty. I'm already running late, which should not be surprising. So that's this entire portion of the video. Yeah. And we're back. We're at the storage unit. That's Patty dancing in the background, because of course. So we're gonna go through, check everything once, and I'll give you a quick tour, and then I'll be productive, because it's incredibly hot in here. Okay, so let's do a quick tour of what we're working with today. And so we're on a MacBook Pro working in a uh, modern version of Pro Tools as of May of this year. We have our interface is Scarlett, uh, a Focusrite Scarlett 18i20. This thing has been incredibly versatile and it all sits in this road case still so we can take it wherever we want to take it. And we have the Scarlett Octopre here, which is effectively an eight channel expansion or physical eight channel expansion on the 18i20. And then we're running all of this mess of cables out of that and onto this kit. And we've got two room mics up in those corners and it just makes the room sound a lot bigger than it is. I think it takes so long for the sound to travel from one end of the room to the other end of the room and then to hit those walls and hit those microphones that it makes it sound bigger than it is. What's really cool about this unit as opposed to the one we used to record in is that a bunch of bands practice here. <laughs> and so there are things like fans and a refrigerator and a whole bunch of foam on the walls and these things hang from the ceiling along the walls here. These were like dividers for office spaces yep. and Wade and Patty rigged these to the ceiling somehow. And it definitely changes the way the room sounds. Um, and this, this room definitely has less ring to it than our old storage unit. It's more comfortable and there's a fridge. The fridge is key. All right guys, I'm going to give you a quick kit rundown uh, for symbols. I'm using a APX 14 inch hi hats. Uh, I got a little 10 inch Wuhan splash there. Uh, up top, I'm using a AAX explosion effect symbol. That's the ozone model. Up top, I got a little uh, 6 inch stag bell. Underneath that, I have the uh, Zildjian Sweet Ride 21 inch. For my main crash, I have the Avitas Zildjian Crash Ride. That's an 18 inch. Below it, I have a couple crack symbols that I made into a stack. Uh, the top is an AAX Explosion Ozone, similar to the one I'm using over here. Uh, and underneath it is a 19 inch Holy China. Up top, I'm using the 19 inch Holy China. Uh, for the kit, I'm using acrylic toms. Uh, my rack tom is a 12 inch. My floor tom is a 16 inch. This snare is a 14 
by six and a half. Um, it's a D drum maple wood. And for a kick drum, I'm using a PDP CX line. Uh, it's 22 inch. And on it, I'm using the EMAD head. Uh, however, I've taken the muffle ring away from it. Uh, for pedals, I'm using Iron Cobras uh, with some heavier beaters. All my stands are double braced. And I have this nice little Gibraltar hi-hat stand. It's a bit of an extension. Gets it a little closer to me. And I got the old faithful, the Rock and Sock hydraulic throne. And uh, that's about it. So Chuck was kind enough to come and drink beer outside while we recorded this in, in this incredibly hot uh, storage unit. I was sweating the entire time. I don't know how Patty did it. We had to take regular breaks. It was a problem. But Poison Joy is done on drums, so yay. No one's celebrating with me, but Poison Joy is done on drums. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, this is going on YouTube.